Today what we'd like to go over a little bit briefly is uh, managing turf grasses through plant health products. So it's not uncommon when you're managing grasses, whether they're athletic fields, uh, home lawns, golf courses, that you get impacted by weeds, diseases, or insects. And one of the, the best ways to manage our weeds, diseases, and insects, first and foremost, is to maintain healthy turf grass through proper mowing, fertilization, irrigation practices, proper plant selection, etc. Now, innately, there's always going to be pests out there, and if you've done all those things properly, you can still be impacted by weeds, diseases, or insects. And in that case, uh, in order to properly manage them, you're going to have to apply plant health products such as herbicides, insecticides, or fungicides. And one of the most fundamental things to, to managing those and properly applying those plant health products is by using a properly calibrated sprayer. Now there's various types of sprayers on the market. Uh, they could go anywhere from boom type sprayers to backpack sprayers to what we have here often called landscape skid sprayers. And it's simply just a 30 gallon tank in our case. I've seen these tanks range to 250 gallons. Uh, but you have a tank that you can have a known volume of spray solution in. You have a hose and you have a nozzle. And in the cases of these skid sprayers are almost always a single nozzle boom as opposed to um, athletic field or golf course type sprayers where they're fixed width multi-nozzle booms. So we calibrate each of those differently. Um, today we're talking landscaping so we're going to primarily focus on the skid type sprayers. And What's important in this is that you have a known volume of solution and you have a known area, okay? So there's multiple ways to do it. The place we're going to start today is the 1128 acre method. As we talk about 1128 acre method, um, there's 43,560 square feet in an acre, right? There's 128 ounces in a gallon, right? So one 128th acre method is taking a 43,560 square foot acre and shrinking it by a factor of one 128. Now why do we do that? Okay, well if our spray volume tells us or our label tells us you want to spray at 50 gallons per acre, one way you could potentially calibrate is lay off an acre and go out and spray 50 gallons on it. Right? Does that make sense? 50 gallons per acre. Because you've got a known volume of 50 gallons, you've got a known area of an acre, that's 50 gallons per acre. Well, who in the world wants to go out and spray an entire acre just to figure out how to calibrate it? So what we do is we shrink it by a factor of 128. Okay, so if we take an acre and we shrink it by 128, we take a gallon and we shrink it by 128, and now all of a sudden, everything's correct. So just try to visualize in your mind, you're taking an acre, you're shrinking it, you're taking a gallon of water, you're shrinking it, and the number of ounces you catch on 340 square feet is equal to your gallons per acre spray rate. Um, if you're using a landscape skid type sprayer, you typically got a single nozzle gun, okay? I don't know that I've ever seen one of these guns with multiple nozzles on it. Now that doesn't mean they don't exist, it's just I've never seen them or used them. So, you know, typically when you see landscape operators out spraying turf, they're using something like this. Well, just like if you're a golf guy and you're buying your nozzles for your 5940 method, you can also buy different nozzles for this. So when we bought this sprayer, you know, they send with us, you know, this little sheet that tells us what are the different GPMs of these different nozzles. And they vary widely, okay? I happen to have my blue nozzle on here. They're, guess, they're, they're saying I'm going to get between one and three gallons per minute based on pressure. Okay, if I put in this green nozzle, we're talking five to seven gallons per minute based on pressure. Now, one of the cool things about the 1128th acre method is gallons per minute means nothing. Okay, it, it, you don't care about gallons per minute. All you care about is how much water do I collect over 340 square feet. But where nozzle selection does become important is, again, back to product application. Uh, if this nozzle here, and y'all see when I fire it up, it's going to put out a little bit finer mist a lot lower spray volume, which means I can cover more acres, which is a good thing. But what if it's windy today, and I happen to be spraying TriMet Classic up next to some rose bushes, or some shrubs, or some dogwoods, right? You get to buy some shrubs, don't you? That's right. <laughs> well, the first thing you would hopefully do is say, well, maybe I'll wait till tomorrow, <laughs> right? But if you're concerned about sensitivity to other plants, and you would just take this nozzle out, put the higher nozzle in, and you're going to see that there's a lot less potential for drip. 
So when you look at the 5940 method for fixed nozzle boom calibration, it is by far the easiest way to calibrate. Yeah. And again, it's all about removing variables. So you have your pressure, you've got a fixed, or excuse me, you have your sprayer with a fixed pressure, 40 PSI, 50 PSI, whatever that is. You've got a boom with a fixed nozzle width. I've got a walking speed based on my metronome of 2.5 miles per hour or 3 miles per hour, whatever you calibrate. If you happen to be on a riding sprayer or a tractor sprayer, you probably have some type of gauge on your sprayer that tells you how fast you're going. And the GPA equation is GPM times 5940 divided by speed and spacing. Now where does your spacing come from? Just take a tape measure and measure that spacing in inches, so that's gone. Where does your speed come from? Either from your walking speed or from your riding speed, so that's gone. Where does your gallons per minute come from? If you look on that nozzle, it'll tell you this is an 8004 nozzle. That's 0.4 gallons per minute at 40 PSI. So now that's gone. Or better yet, cut your sprayer on and actually collect in one minute how many gallons you have. So your GPA equals your GPM times 5940 divided by speed and spacing and your calibrator.